in one week, we have our half marathon. I honestly thought that half marathon was going to close it out. And I was going to... I was going to actually start my journey to the marathon in March, but that's going to change. I'm going to actually take the whole next year to prepare for my marathon until 2024. Uh, that was a very hard decision that I had to make because just evaluating my body and what I'm capable of right now, which is December 24th. Third, 2022, I'm not capable of doing the marathon the time that I want to. I will get there, but I have to work my body up to that level. Unfortunately, I don't have those capabilities right now, so I got to keep building. I will have those capabilities by next year. Well, not next year, 2023. We're literally around the corner. Next year, 2024. Uh, I'm talking like if we're in 2023 already. It's, it's literally right there. So, um, what's up, boy? Hey. Hey, he's always excited. You see? He's always excited. I'm always very excited. Running has changed my life. 360 and for the better. With that being said, I'm going to prepare to do... Three sets of my half marathon pace, which is about 7.45 to 7.35 right now. That's my current pace. We're going to really fight it during our half marathon in New Year. Well, not New Year. New Year's Eve. We're going to really fight it. And we're going to hold. We're going to hold as long as possible. I have a very ambitious goal, and we're going to see if I can accomplish it. Obviously, 2023 is going to be a different year. I'm going to get much faster and stronger. And obviously, I have the right resources. I have, I'm, I'm, I'm studying this sport. I'm getting to know a lot of things that I wasn't familiar with before. And I'm actually very happy that we have a lot of those resources available to us to learn. And it's obviously up to you to decide whether you want to study those resources or not. But we have that to our, in our fingertips. All right. We're going to close this year very, 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 very strong. We've made tremendous progress throughout our first year. Literally, our first year of running. I've came down from 10, a 10-minute 10 pace. Till right now, a 7.35, well, 7.45, 7.35. That's a huge difference. How I got there, mind power. In order for you to perform, you need to have the mindset to perform. Meaning, we all have those capabilities, but you have to integrate you have to you have to build that core computer that cpu to work for you not against you you can't have your computer keep crashing because this sport requires a lot of cpu requires a lot of power to maintain a pace to run to do this every single day you can't have this this powerful tool, this powerful unit just crash on you. You have to reinforce it with things you cannot buy. Experiencing things that you're uncomfortable with. And that takes time to put together to work towards that. Because like I said, you cannot buy a magic pill, take it and be like, I'm the strongest human being ever. Any obstacle that comes through me, I'm going to freaking tumble that thing. I'm going to run it over. No, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Uh-uh. This is not for everybody, obviously. But I'm actually very happy. I'm actually enjoying this. This has taught me a different type of strength, a different type of discipline that I would welcome anybody to really dive into because it's completely different from bodybuilding, from fitness, from... A lot of other things. 
You know, I used to look at all oh, these big guys. That's not long. That's no longer my interest. Looking a certain shape, looking a certain way, is no longer my interest. Performing and having a mindset that is that is unbreakable. There's gonna be moments that are gonna break me. I know that. That's part of life. But having that mental fortitude to say, I'm gonna pick myself up if within a couple of hours, within a couple of days, within a couple of weeks, not months or years, boom. That's where the real power is at. All right, let's get down to business.